Over the past decade, the data rates in wireless communications have increased dramatically. This trend will continue in the future. In its 60 GHz R&D program, iMac has developed a phased array transceiver prototype, supporting multi-gigabit per second connectivity. The ICs are designed for the IEEE 802.1180 standard and implemented in 40 nanometer LP digital CMOS technology, targeting a single chip solution. In the prototype, the receiver and transmitter ICs are integrated with 1x4 antenna arrays in PCB technology. The prototype supports speedups up to 4.6 gigabit per second and communication ranges beyond 3 meter. This is achieved at a power consumption of 600 milliwatt in the transmitter and 350 milliwatt in the receiver. In this movie, you will see a demonstration of this prototype, straight from IMAX Wireless Lab. Hello and welcome to our Radio Frequency Lab. My name is Giovanni Mangraviti and today I am going to show you our 60 GHz demonstration setup. This is our 60 GHz demonstration setup. In particular, here we have an arbitrary waveform generator with which we generate our digital baseband signal. This digital baseband signal is brought to our transmitter. Then we up-convert the signal and we transmit the signal. Then the signal is received by the receiver, is down-converted and brought to the digital oscilloscope. The digital oscilloscope performs an analog to digital conversion. After this, the digital signal that we get uh, is brought to the computer. And finally we analyze this uh, digital signal. Now we will perform a transmission with the QPSK modulation. The bit rate will be 3.5 gigabit per second. Here is our received constellation. We can distinguish the four symbols of QPSK. If we look at the statistics of the transmission, we have a signal to noise ratio of 17 dB and uh, a bit error rate in this case of 0. Our chips have been forming functionality. In particular, on both transmitter and receiver there are four antennas and thanks to electronic beam steering we can steer the beam in order to improve the communication rig. Now, the transmitter and the receiver are facing each other. It means that they are aligned. In this condition, I am going to start our test with QPSK modulation. Here we have our QPSK received constellation with bit error rate zero. Now I am going to disalign the chips. In particular, I am going to rotate the receiver. Now the receiver is not aligned anymore with the transmitter. I am going to repeat our test. Here we can see indeed a degradation of QPSK and the bit error rate now it's not zero anymore but it's two percent now i am going to change the settings of the receiver in order to align the beam of the receiver and with new settings i am going to perform again our test Here we can see the QPSK has been recovered with bit error rate zero. So thanks to our beam forming functionality, we can steer the beam so that we can recover the rig. And 
now we perform transmission with 16QAM modulation. For 16QAM, we will use coding, RDPC coding, with a ratio 3 over 4, resulting in a bit rate of 4.6 gigabit per second. And here is our 16 QAM with 16 symbols. And uh, the uh, EVM is uh, approximately minus 16 dB, and uh, the bit error rate is uh, 3, uh, 10 to the power of minus 5. Together with its partners, iMac pioneers design solutions to bring gigabit per second wireless communication to everyone, everywhere. We do this by leveraging upon the opportunities offered by Scale CMOS technologies, innovative architectures and circuits. For more information contact us at greenradios at imac.be.